Hey Filmmaker Shong here, in this video we're going to try out the new immersive video transitions inside of Premiere Pro CC 2018 They added like transitions for VR 360 videos, however you can also try out them out on normal videos And they will actually give you quite an interesting effect So let's look at them So go to your effects tab, into your video transitions folder and then you find the folder of immersive video. In there you see several VR transitions from chroma light leak, gradient wipe, iris wipe, light leak, light rays, mobius zoom, random blocks, and spherical blur. So let's try them out. So the first one is chroma leaks. This adds a light leak kind of effect or uh, like a light ray. However, uh, because they are actually quite heavy transitions. You want to set your preview on one fourth. Even with my fastest trans or fastest computer, my iMac, I'm getting actually quite difficulty trying to play them in real time in full because they are actually built for 360 videos. So they are generate trying to generate a lot of things. But this one looks like just a dissolve when we don't do any change to it. So we want to actually go into the effects control and actually play around with this. So if we play around, we can see here something happening. So you can see here these lights and could be because my video doesn't have that many bright areas that they is it's only affecting this here. So if probably a light, a more brighter video, it would be more interesting and we can of course change a lot of things here, like this threshold. Can just try around and see what will happen. So we can see this and let's play this. That looks quite interesting. So we can actually play around with the parameters and change this transition to something that we would like to use. And let's look, go to the next one, which is the gradient wipe. Gradient wipe is actually quite interesting because this looks like a smoke transition. So you can see it becomes like a smoky swirl here. And we have several trends or things we can change here. We can change to smoothen this or add a feathering. So it's even more of a smoky. And also we can play with like over under how that looks like. You can see two smoke trails instead of one. And yeah, I'm not quite sure if you draw a gradient layer, how that would do or yeah, because you can choose a layer for it to be the transition layer. And we can also invert this gradient so I have like an opposite way how that looks let's go to the next one the iris wipe the iris wipe is quite interesting because it looks like a normal wipe from the start but it ends differently so it opens from the middle and then suddenly flips over to the edge so in the actual 360 it looks like a proper iris wipe quite cool it, uh, because it goes from your left to your right but yeah it's interesting not that much things we can actually alter here then just add more feathering and also change the point of interest where it starts so can do it like that and let's look at the next one. The next one is light leaks. Light leaks look actually quite a lot like my light leak generator preset, but with more colors. So we can actually change the hue of it. So we can change the color of the transition. So if you want it to be more blue, pink, or yellow. You can play around with that. Spectrum width. Intensity, 
exposure, dissolve length, so all kinds of things we can play around here. But let's look go to the VR light rays. Okay, adding the VR light rays. So VR light rays, personally for me, this is kind of of an odd transition. It's like, like a magic orb going on here. And it might be interesting uh, actually using this orb as something else. However, because this is a VR effect, uh, a lot of things uh, it's kind of hard to understand because if you move it around it won't move around as you would expect so if we change the starting point it's kind of like oddly how it moves around so you can't really expect it to move in the way that you think it's moving up and down and left and right it doesn't move left and right as you think it would of course we can actually play around and see what else we can get with this i think was i had like something cool going on before moving it down to the edge actually like this this looks like a flame on the bottom here we can change the race length to get like even a cool bigger flame here can change the intensity and we can even change the color so let's change this to red oh, we need to turn on this tint it becomes red so this is a quite interesting fiery transition so we make this a little bit longer it's an interesting transition um, however yeah I do think you do need to play around with the parameters to make it more interesting now to the Mobius zoom and let's see how that looks so it is quite interesting however personally for me it looks kind of cheapish of a transition however we can also of course change the parameters here and change the zoom in and out level so how much it zooms in and out so let's let's make actually quite interesting let's ha see how that looks like if that's on zero however because there isn't a way to change like the speeds can't do can't add like a ramp to it we can only change like how slow or fast this goes and not really add a ramping at the end which is just too bad it's something with the normal transitions so let's look at them what happened at full 100 hmm makes it look cheap we can change the point of interest so we can actually move it left and right up and down oh that looks weird um not quite sure when i would use this but yeah it's of course a new transition so you guys uh if you find it interesting it'd be cool to see it inside a video how that would be used let's go to the next one the random blocks so this is just a block transition not really much special though this is really cheap cheapish looking transition you can of course change the random seeds so it's more random and 
change the blocks to be like more weird shaped. Yeah, this is, is not really a transition I really recommend. It just always looks cheap. So let's look at the last one, the spherical blur. This I think will be quite interesting. So this transition looks actually also quite interesting. So it's spinning around, but it's not really center spin because there's also sideways, there's something spinning. So let's look at what we can change here. So we can actually, let's try out this over under stuff. Okay, so over under actually isn't spinning at all. Not quite sure why, but let's make back to the monoscopic. Let's play around with the exposure so we can actually change the brightness of in the trans during the transition it actually becomes brighter. Blur strength. So it's more blurry. We can do it without any blur. So without any blur, it's just the brightness. Add a little bit of blur. And we can actually change add a rotation here. So add like one time. And here also a one times rotation. So you can see it spins like twice before it actually or spill and spins an entire circle. Actually it spins twice. So this is quite an interesting transition and yeah, pretty much you guys uh, try them all out in your next video. And yeah, you have a whole set of interesting transitions you can play with and also play with the parameters and see which one be interesting to use. So I hope you guys find this video quite interesting and please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more upcoming videos and if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. See you guys next time. Bye bye.